Okay, in the last tutorial we looked at how we can use the sidebar functionality in Rapid Weaver and we added some extra images and some extra text and extra information and we also looked at how we can add a external hyperlink to another web page. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to add another page. It's dead simple. Yep. Click on the add page button and what I want in my car uh, website is I want like a gallery of all the cars that are in my garage at the moment. So I'm going to use the photo album type of page and I'm going to click choose. And the good thing is it's dead easy to put the pictures in the photo gallery that we want. Now I've already got these three images of a Golf, a Ferrari and an Audi and I've also got another BMW. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag these in drag them on all at once, so I'm just going to do it one at a time, just so I'm all in. and I've dragged them in, and that's it, I've just dragged them in, I've put them in, and it knows, let's just preview it, just update, and there it is, straight away, dead, dead simple, okay, so let's look how that works, okay, so I'm going to go back to edit, let's preview it in Safari, let's just see, just to see how it looks, let's go to Safari, and there we go, I can click on the go for a bigger version, I can go to next, See the Ferrari. Can go back if I want to, or next, and it works dead, dead easy, dead quick, dead, dead simple. You can add as many images as you want in there, depending on how many images you need for your website. There's one thing I forgot to do is I forgot to title the page because at the moment it's called Untitled Page. So to make to rename this page, right click and rename, I'm going to call it gallery okay, and there we go and you'll notice that when we go to preview it, it adds gallery to the navigation bar for you it's there for you to, okay, no need to add it to the nav bar yourself and I also add another page and this time I'm going to add a contact page because once the user has a look around the, some of my cars they may want to get in touch and ask how much or ask for a test drive or whatever. They might want to get in touch to see if they can take it for a spin. So, contact for, choose, and we get a whole host of options here. By default, you get your name, which is a text field, your email, which is again a text field. The subject or the title of your message, a text field, and the message, a text area, which is basically a bigger area of space to write your message because your message is going to be a longer than your name, email, and subject. You can also add extra things. So, for example, if I wanted to put, let's just say, a address, or hang on, a better one would probably be. Telephone number. Okay. Ooh. Because then, after the inquiry, we could get back in touch and give them a call back. Okay, I can move that up as well if I wanted to. Up there. And there we go. So now, again, I forgot to rename it because I'm rushing. Rename. Contact. There we go. So we've got home contact and gallery. Let's see how that contact page looks now then. So we've got contact. How easy is that? Simple. You can then the user can then put their name, their email, telephone number, subject and message and then send the message. Let's look how that looks in Safari. No doubt it will look very similar. So home. Oh my bad. You actually need to um, make sure I'm on the page, preview. There you go. For some reason, that's not pre previewing. I'm not sure why that is. Okay. But we know that it's working anyway because we can see home, contact, and gallery. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can change the actual theme 
of your website. Because at the moment it's this standard grey and black theme and you may decide you want a different colour or a different feel and style to your website. So I'll show you that in the next video.